our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess our sins against you. You brought the word to me. The Holy of God, 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 the Holy of Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall open our Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord is glorious in his saints. Come, let us adore him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the peace. On the day of 11, let no malice and evil, and let no matter of sincerity and truth. Hallelujah. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. Death is not the God is sin once and for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourself dead to sin, and life to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man came also the resurrection of the dead. For it is not in all God. So also Christ shall walk with me alive. Hallelujah. Our psalm is 119, verse 137 to the end. You are righteous, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. You have issued your decrees of justice and perfect faithfulness. My indignation is consuming you. Because my enemies are against your words. Your work is detested to the uttermost, and your servant will hold it dear. I am small and good with them. They have now forget your commandments. Your justice is in the house of justice, and your law is the truth. Trouble and distress have come upon me. Read your commandments and I delight. The righteousness of your decrees is everlasting. Your hand is changing the time of day. Oh, my whole heart, I miss you more, Lord, than I keep your statutes. I call to you, oh, that you would save me. I will keep your decrees. Early in the morning, I cry out to you, for in your word is my trust. My eyes are open to my departures, and I may meditate upon your promise. Hear my voice, O Lord, according to your love and kindness, according to your judgments and your law. They draw near to the mouth's persecution. They are very far from your law. You, O Lord, are near at hand, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known from your decrees that you have established them forever. Though I am grateful to you and good me, I do not forget your law. Do not follow us and continue me, according to your promise given to I. Deliverance are all the wicked. They do not study your statutes. Great is your compassion, O Lord. Preserve my life according to your judgments. For me who persecuted and oppressed me, you have my sword from your decrees. I look with loathing at your favorites. They are not yet fit for them. See how I love your commandments. O Lord, your mercy preserve me. The power of your word is true. All your righteous judgments endure forevermore. Rulers have persecuted me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I am as glad because your promise is one who finds great spoils. As for lies, I hate them for them, but your law is my heart. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace said they who love your law, for them there is no sense of life. I have hoped for your salvation, O Lord, and I have fulfilled your commandments. I have kept 
Job chapter 23. Job answered Eliphaz the Temanite, Today also my complaint is bitter. His hand is heavy despite my groaning. For that I knew where I might find him, that I might come even to his dwelling. I would lay my case before him and fill my mouth with arguments. I would learn what he would answer me and understand what he would say to me. Would he contend with me in the greatness of his power? No, but he would give heed to me. There are an upright person who could reason with him, and I should be acquitted forever by my judge. If I go forward, he is not there, or backward, I cannot perceive him. On the left, he hides, and I cannot behold him. I turn to the right, but I cannot see him. But he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come out like gold. My foot has held fast to his steps. I have kept his way and have not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandment of his lips. I have treasured in my bosom the words of his mouth. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Thanks
And he said to him, Very truly, I tell you, you will see heaven open, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The word of the Lord. Canticle 19. O ruler of the universe, O Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. You raise the ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all ages. You have been able to do promise, Lord, to sing the praises of your name, to be known with all the Holy All nations draw near to our honor before you, because of just and holy works have been revealed. Lord, to the Father, to the Son, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, our Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, who descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the rest. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Lord, your ministers with righteousness. Let your peace be with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only you and your people are safe. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create us clean hearts, O God. Almighty God, who gave to your apostles Philip and James grace and strength to bear witness to the truth, grant that we, being mindful of their victory of faith, may glorify in life and death the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you, for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Pray for the church as she is one holy Catholic and apostolic faithful in mission and ministry. We lift up the Anglican communion. Pray for the gift of repentance and the transforming power of the Holy Spirit. We lift especially the Diocese of Sokoto in Nigeria, the Episcopal Church, the Diocese of West Tennessee, God's hand upon our bishop and canon. We pray for Calvary Church in Memphis and the Kaiser Education Foundation. We lift to God all our outreach partners and those whom they serve. First hand of blessing on this work those who are sick and suffering, the poor and the needy, especially those who come to our doors. For our prayer work and study that would glorify God and transform us. And for your prayers and concerns.
General Penske, Almighty God, Father of mercies, we are born and serve to you in all your heavens. For all your goodness and all your kindness to us and to all whom you have made, we bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. Above all, we bless you for love and the redemption of the world of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the means of grace and all of glory, you make our great intercession for us and his mercy, as we do the clinical cause, we may show forth your grace. Not only in our ears, but in our lives, and giving up ourselves to your service, and all of you for you, and all of you for righteousness in all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit, in honor and glory, throughout all things. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. May the God, God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.